Hello everybody, welcome back to Go To Hydroponics here in lovely Wisconsin, truly lovely Wisconsin. About 70 degrees outside right now, dry as hell, but because that's, that's we haven't had much rain in a while, but I have a hydroponic system so it doesn't matter how much rain we get outside because it's not, these plants aren't affected by that. They're only affected by about sunlight and the water I give them personally. So um, updates is, as you can see on here, they are, there is some red, so that means tomatoes are getting ripe. I believe there are a few to pick in here. I'm gonna go grab them. And I know last time my video was shaky and I was not happy about it when I put it up. Um, I was on a little time crunch, so I'm gonna leave you guys sit there and I'm gonna leave it steady. <laughs> so you guys can actually watch me not get sick off of it. But okay, let's cut some tomatoes here. Got some nice big red ones back in. Uh... There's a nice red one. You got two other pretty nice red ones in there. Pretty happy. 100% fully hydroponic tomatoes right here. Um, there's a bunch of peppers that are ripe too. They're nice, lusciously orange. a nice little clump again. These are nice and heavy, really weighted. There's another red one. Got another one back here too. These plants, these plants are very, uh, very, very tucked away inside. They're very hard to get to. Gotta go back here and get some. Maybe not. That's, that's not any easier. There you go, there's a nice little clump. It was hidden behind unripe tomatoes, so it's a pain in the butt to get to. We'll do that. Um, the other ones I think can sit a little bit longer. Uh, low, is, low tonight I think is like 38. Last night it got down about 40 degrees, so it is definitely uh, tapering off. That season is getting close to coming to a halt, that's for sure. So let's go to my pepper plants and pick some peppers on. Before I start the peppers, I do want to say the tomatoes, oh, do they suck a lot of water. Like I've seen before how it, uh, this is what, September, September 30th. And I just filmed a little video not that long ago. But when I did, the I checked it, and they were sucking about like two to three gallons a day. It was about 80 degrees, 80, 90 degrees out for that little three or four day period. And man, were they sucking some serious water. That was ridiculous. So uh, we're here my peppers. They don't, again, they don't drink much water. My tomatoes have about a third left in that bucket again. I don't know if I have to fill them up before the end of the year or not. To peppers, I will not have to touch at all, that's for sure. I told you guys down to see my peppers here. Okay, so now, as you see all this orange, this means they are all nice orange, luscious, bell peppers. So let's chop some of these off. Look at that. Nice big freaking orange bell pepper. They're heavy too. Really heavy and dense. Another one right here. Got some more back here. Ooh, that's a nice one, I'd say. Such a pretty color too. It's weird because they are, it was doubting me at first because they were all green and then all of a sudden they turn orange like after they're ripe. I don't know, I just, I guess I haven't had orange pepper so I didn't really know for sure. But as you see down here, these are like greener on the bottom. These aren't ready to pick yet, but there's a totally green one down here and you can't tell you're just like, oh, it's a green pepper, but then you wait a little while and it turns orange. I just thought it was weird. It's different, that's all. Another one right here. Trim some of these leaves off. Still some orange down here. Oh, we got a big one down here, guys. Holy shit. Okay, here's a small one. That's right next to this really, really big one. Like ones you get in the store. Oops. Ones you get in the store. Look at that. That's a nice size freaking pepper right down there. I'll tell you that much. I think those can sit a little longer. Let's go check out these. Yeah, this one's got a little rot. Some of them have a little rot, but man, if you don't deal with that fast these things rot extremely fast that is one thing i noticed with the hydroponics yeah they're heavier bigger i think they do taste better but man do they i feel like they kind of rot easier i guess maybe because it's more the, the more waterlogged maybe that's why 
That one can stay there for a little while. We'll get rid of this small one down here. Oh, that one's kind of rotten. We're just going to, yeah, that's all. We're going to throw that. Oh. That was a gross one. Do a little recap. There is all of my peppers I picked so far. There are, I would say, at least two to three on each plant yet, so I'll still get a good harvest. And I think I picked one or two already inside. Uh, I'll bring you guys back to my tomatoes here, and we'll check out those. How many I I mean, a good handful, this is like what you'd come out of the store with. Depending on what you're baking, of course, or making, and whatever, you know. These are all the ones I picked today. Clearly, there are a lot more on my plants. They're pretty, I would think, I'd say pretty heavily loaded. Bring you up. Oh, okay, let's try to, uh, let's, okay, let's try to make this slow here. Bring you up over here. As you can see, there are there are a bunch of red ones up here. There's a big vine up here. There's a lot more that you, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look, look at all those clumps inside of there. There's some pretty, there's a good amount. Yeah, there you go. Just for kicks and giggles, I'll show you guys my reservoir and how much water is actually left inside of there since I filled it up last, which I believe was when I posted my last video. As you can see, it's getting pretty dang empty. I'm pretty sure, well, we're at, uh, we're at like seven, we're at about seven gallons left right now, which isn't, I don't know, it's kind of a good amount yet kind of not so eh. might have to add more I'm not sure yet pepper we'll just do a quick check pepper's got like at least I'd say 17 gallons 20 gallons something like that they got a lot in there um so yeah it's ladies and greatest uh, I'll keep you guys tuned if I'm picking up where my plants die because of frost um you're still growing strong and it is September 30th remember that uh yeah hit the subscribe button like comment um over and out, my fellow sprouts. <laughs>